Hello everybody, this is Kathy. I am going to try and do something with these cute little photos here. This has been in my photo box for quite a while. I'm going to use Close to My Heart um, Espresso ink. I love the distressed look of this. It's like a charcoal brownish gray color. It's hard to explain, but I've been loving it. So, I have a, sometime when I feel up to it, I have a stack cube where my colored cardstock is. And in my miscellaneous white, I have some paper kind of in there that I use for cut down for 8.5 by 11. So that's where I got that sheet of paper. Now, on one of my days that I just didn't feel like scrapbooking, I used Janet's idea, and I'm using just an old spiral notebook, and I sat and I, first I sorted my um, ephemera. I sorted them into words, quotes, letters, hearts, stars, label tags, stuff like that. And then I sat and I glued all my um, the wax paper in the pages and then I sat and I glued all the fun little die cuts in. So that's what you see me doing here is I'm just looking for a little verse like a quote to put down there at the bottom and I will cut that quote out and now I'm looking for a camera. Now the one thing that I am struggling with is that flower that was in with the paper. So I do go back and I change that camera. I thought maybe I would have more cameras than that, but uh, they're somewhere. I just haven't found them all. So here's where you see me fussy cutting that out. And it says, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful and that is just the photos are of them in a photo booth and they're just having fun and giggling and I wanted to capture the moment so since I cut these down I can't pick them up with my nails of course so I'm using my knife and I'm just going to kind of show you where I want them and there we go I moved them up and down, up and down, up and down. So here I'm going to kind of, since life doesn't have to be perfect, I'm not going to put these straight at all. I'm just going to glue them kind of at an angle so that they're kind of messy. Then I decided I do need to bring in some of that color from the floral from the top along my photo so I am just kind of cut a little strip of scrap paper that I got out of my stash and then here's an, a little gray piece and I'm going to glue that on I love how soft and simple how this came out it's just sweet and simple and that is really my go-to design is something short, sweet, simple. All right, so I like that. Now I'm going to get out some foam tape and put behind the camera. And I'm glad I found that camera. It was right next to the one I pulled the first time. But it brings that pink from the pink flower at the top. So now I'm going to bring the pink down at the bottom and that says be the reason someone smiles today and I thought well that was perfect. Okay, so next, okay I'm going to look through my book again. I want to write something in the journaling but I ran into this little tab and it just letting go and they are they're having a blast and I thought it needed 
something along the photo there. All right. What else do I do? Oh, I found another one. It says, hello, beautiful. I'm going to put that at the top. Now I'm going to write, it's the little moments that matter. I'm trying to decide how many words I want on the line. And like, once I write this, I can't, well, I can cover it up, but I really want it in my writing. And... And then after I write all that, I do send a photo, a snap, snap a photo of the picture and ask my daughter what year it is. And I do, before the video's over, I go back and I put 2016. So there's where I show you I want the year. I almost put 20. And I thought, no, if I put 20, then I'll go back and I'll forget what the 20 was for and think I messed up. So now I am um, laying down some itty-bitty gems, some sparkles. They're really itty-itty-bitty, but they add just that little bitty touch of sparkle to my page. And I have to use that knife. Okay, so here's where I come back and put 2016. And then I'm going to use my Lindy's Cotton Candy Pink. And I hope you enjoyed this layout. Wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up. And thank you all for subscribing and watching my channel. Bye-bye.